Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 7.1.1 Nougat on any Android phone and for that I'll be using my 2014 Moto E. It's the first generation Moto E which has a Snapdragon 200 processor and a 1GB RAM. If this phone can run it then I bet any phone can run Android Nougat. So before installing Nougat on it let me just go to the settings about phone and show you the Android version it's running. As you can see it's running Android 5.1 Lollipop, it's the official stock update by Motorola. So before installing Android 7.1.1 on your phone, make sure that your phone's bootloader is unlocked and it is pre-rooted. Without that, don't do this. If your phone is not rooted, then you can root it very easily. Just search in Google on how to root your phone and there are hundreds of tutorials available. So once after rooting your phone, you need to back up everything because this update is gonna completely wipe your phone. Considering you've done all of that, now power off your phone. You need to enter into the fast boot mode. It is very simple to do that. Just hold the volume down button plus power button together for about 6 to 7 seconds. And release them. Boom! You're in the fast boot mode. This is how it looks like. Here you can see my phone's bootloader is unlocked. Now press the volume down button once and then volume up button. This will take you to the recovery mode. Don't worry about this warning. You'll get this if you have unlocked your phone's bootloader. There you go, we have the TWRP recovery over here. Using this, we're gonna install Android and OS on our phone. And guys, always make a backup of your phone before messing with it, in case if something happens. But don't worry, most of the time, there won't be any problems. So before installing the new OS, you need to wipe your phone. I recommend you to do a clean install and not a dirty flash. Over here click on this advanced wipe and select Dalvik, system, data and cache and after that swipe to wipe. Once that's done, hit the back button and go back to the main menu. Now hit the install button. We're gonna install this AOSP extended Android 7.1.1 ROM. This is basically a custom ROM developed for Moto E. There are lots of Android 7.1.1 custom ROMs available for different phones on XDA. You can download them from over there. After selecting that file, hit swipe to flash. Now relax and sit back because this flashing will take at least 8 to 10 minutes. You can also install Cyanogen Mod, now known as Lineage OS, in the same way. Just download the ROM and follow the same procedure. So once the flashing is done, go back and flash the OpenGApp zip file in the same way. Don't worry, I'll leave a link to these files in the description box below. You can download them from over there. When the flashing is done, just reboot your phone. Whoa, did you see that? You have the Google Pixels boot animation on your phone. Now how cool is that? The first boot may take around 10 to 15 minutes, so don't worry about that. Ok guys, my phone has booted up successfully. You can see the Android and welcome screen. I'll just fast forward the setup process so that we can jump directly into the new OS. I've set up the phone guys, you can see it's got the new Android and lock screen. And check that out, it's running the Pixel Launcher. That's really nice. And here's the new notification panel. Looks exactly like the stock 7.1.1. The overall experience and UI feels buttery smooth. Let's check out the settings. You've got the new settings panel as well. Looks really nice. Let me just lower the brightness a little bit so you can see it clearly. You can see the Android version over here. It says Android 7.1.1. You know what that means? We've jumped from Android 5.1 Lollipop to Android 7.1.1 Nougat on a 2014 Moto E which has a Snapdragon 200 processor and a 1GB RAM. Holy smokes, that is crazy. Even my Galaxy S7 did not get Android 7.1.1 till now. Now what do you guys say about that? Swiping left from the home screen brings you Google now. Everything's working good so far. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Google Assistant also works on it. You can access it by long pressing the home button. It even has voice feedback exactly like the Google Pixel. Hello there. What can I do for you? That is really cool, right? This is how the recent apps looks like. 
feels really smooth. Let's check out the camera. That was snappy. So far everything works fine and not a single problem. Now I'll show you the best part of this ROM. You see this extensions button over here? In this section, you can completely customize the look and feel of your phone. Like enable or disable different status bar items, change the alignment of clock and date, enabling traffic indicators just like this, and some other extensions like double tap to sleep and status bar brightness control. You can also customize your notifications and quick settings panel. There are so many features and things you can change in this ROM, all thanks to the developers. I'll show you one more nice feature. Here in the system settings, you can enable background blur when you pull down the notifications panel. Let me just show you how it looks like. This is with blur enabled. And this is with that option disabled. Looks awesome, right? You got some general tweaks as well, like three finger swipe to take a screenshot. Oh my god, it's got never ending list of tweaks and features. This Android 7.1.1 custom ROM is really good. The performance is fast, it's got buttery smooth user experience. The RAM management is also okay. I've had like zero issues so far. I can't say about the battery life yet. I have to use it for a week and tell you my experience. So far, I'm really loving it. So that is how you install Android N on any smartphone, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.